Verde. Yo, what's up guys? I am actually parked in the back of the Toys R Us Roach Coach destination that I love to come to every now and then. And I decided to come out here. So I'm relaxing on my lunch. That's why you've seen the little time lapse, the clips prior. Well, actually nothing really, just the, the, the trees and the wind. I guess if you could see the wind. But I'm gonna be getting off early today. I found out from my boss that I have gone over my hours and <coughs> no lie that happens to me all the time so <coughs> so i need to go back to the store now i'm on my lunch i've been on my lunch for a little while now and i feel like i feel like the vlogs that i've been watching of my life that have been in the past week are amazing for me to watch it'd be cool to see that um, a lot of people could relate to this and then maybe try to do their own thing because it feels like there's a lot of different um, outlets and people utilizing YouTube but there's not a lot of real people because the people that we tend to watch are the people that have already made it so their success or their growth has already branded and and the people that are starting off like myself and then I can't think of really anybody else that's not with like over a hundred thousand subscribers that I'm watching every now and then I don't think I watch anybody daily I watch the office daily so kudos to the office and uh, Michael Scott paper company that's the season that I'm on if you guys watch that but I have to go back to work so let's go and then I'll team up with you guys as soon as I'm off Yo, what's up everybody? Good evening, good evening. We are on our way to the shop. I just got off of work and we're about to start vlog number two for the same day. Yo, what's up you guys so I'm about to tell you something that happens all of the time and I know that I just showed you lids and I didn't record inside of Foot Locker and Chic but you would have been embarrassed for them they had no selection no shoes at all so if you're a parent and again I, I stress this so often I think I've already done two vlogs on this Chula Vista Mall sucks big bleep no lie, I should never ever waste my time by coming to the Chula Vista Mall. It's the only thing was is that I was at the shop, I spent a little bit of, a little bit of time at the shop, and then I came over here. And the truth of the matter is, is that now that I'm here, I'm thinking to myself, okay, cool. Let me try to knock out two birds with one stone because here it is, surprise, surprise, the the key and the the golden tool that I'm going to give you for success as a parent. <coughs> Fixing my mirror because I don't know kids outgrow their shoes more than anything else and when you invest in good pairs of shoes then you need to get the life out of them that you can absolutely whatever it is that you're going to be able to get so i actually purchased some shoes for vicente he's owned these ones already i was looking for some red tubulars or red um red tubulars or red oh my goodness why can't i think of it roshis um, but, and I don't know why, because I'm holding one, and it is black. So I got the triple black Roshis. The only thing is, is that I'm not, I don't think I'm going to stay with them. 
because I felt like afterwards I just made the purchase because it was the only thing there. So tomorrow I think I'm gonna try to go to Plaza Bonita or try to go to the mall, um, East Lake's mall. Uh, not really East Lake, East Lake only only East Lake because they have a Champs and they have a Foot Locker. So I think I'm gonna go to Foot Locker to make the return and get rid of these suckers. And then I think that I'm gonna go to Champs or I'm go with my boy at Champs. Hopefully he has something. And then I'm gonna try to get something that's actually gonna be. Um, actually gonna be really good for the investment like I'm gonna feel like I got what I wanted because that's what it was and if I end up with these flipping Nike Roshis then I end up with these Nike flipping Roshis because if something likes them he can slip them on himself and the truth is is that he outgrew size 8 with the snap of a finger so I kind of felt bad for my son's mother and I was like you know what boom take care of it done and here I am trying to get some shoes for him but the truth is, is that I think I just went with whatever was there and I didn't want to do that technically. So I'm going to have to probably, so I can feel in good conscience, look for another pair of shoes tomorrow, try to return the ones that I have. Well, not try, return the ones that I have in order to get some ones that I might like more. I'm fucking picky as shit. Today's vlog is brought to you by I'm ready to go home. Let's get out of here. Let's go. I don't know where to. Probably to the house. Get something to eat. Ah, maybe not something to eat. But I am super excited to say that tomorrow we have a lot of special things planned, including coming to Foot Locker to return these motherfucking shoes. Let's go.